This is the uh, GLS uh, 450 that you're asking about. I'm, I'm going to do a quick uh, video of the back and then I'm going to work my way around. I wanted to show you this here since we're back here. It does have the power uh, lift gate, which is pretty cool. Um, you can actually height adjust this and I can explain how that works depending on how short or tall you are. But you, of course, you've got your stop, your lock, your close buttons and all that uh, since we're back here. Um, as you can see, this is the rear uh, compartment area where the third row seat is. I've got one folded down and I've got the other one up basically from the back and if you can see that it says four feet so from here to there it's four feet long which a stroller should fit in all day long and let's see if I can rotate this around a little bit close this up here and then width wise sorry for the bad video here width wise You've got uh, 20 inches, just under 20 inches. It looks like 19 and three quarters inches coming across in this space here, because of course I'm going to the armrest to this side here. So you've got about just under 20 inches going across this way. There's, you should be able to fold a stroller down and fit it in there just fine. Now, with the seats rolled up, this space back here is just right at 18 inches. So you're gonna have 18 inches across this way. So you're gonna have 18 inches here, and then lengthwise, of course, coming across. Let's see if we can we can do this. I'm actually gonna pause this. I'm gonna come back on another ways video. here in this back area. If both of the seats were up, for example, um, if that seat was if that was seat was in the up position, let's see if I can get it to come up here. That's this one. So we'll fold that one up there, and there's actually a, a power button right here. So I folded it up. So in this space. Back here behind the seats, if they're both up, you've got just a little over 43 inches, probably 45 inches that way. And then deep wise, like I said, again, you've got 18 inches. So um, depending on how big your stroller is, it actually might fit in this back area on this side. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go out and do a quick walk around of the entire vehicle so you can see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna merge all these together and you'll have a nice video of this beautiful GLS 450. So I'm gonna start my, uh, start my video on the outside and I'm gonna work my way around. This is the front, of course. I'm gonna walk all the way around. Uh, this is the uh, left front wheel. You can see, I don't see any curbing on it. It looks good. Of course, you got your running boards down here. I'm not seeing any issues or any damage there. I also like to check out the back of this mirror just for any kind of rock chips or whatever. I'd also highly recommend, um, we've got a very cool ceramic protection package that we can add to these. Um, definitely, I'll get you some information on that as well. Um, it does a triple package. We actually do the ceramic coating on the outside. Nothing sticks to it. It's very, very neat uh, a product to have. Of course, coming back here, you've got your backup and parking sensors. You've got your rear lift gate, which also works off the key fob, of course, which opens up. And you've got your stop control here. So if somebody's vertically challenged, you can stop it so it opens at a, at a lower height, which is neat. Again, that's your rear opening area coming around this is your right rear wheel um, no issues on that I can see it's got a very very slight oh that's dirt so disregard that um, we'll take a look in the passenger area here in the back see in the passenger side uh, of the vehicle one of the cool things about the Mercedes is the way these doors operate it's got a small touch pad right here I'm not sure if you see it but if you just touch it it locks the door to open it I just slide my hand underneath and pull it and it unlocks the doors for you. Again, the same thing on the front. I just push the lock or I can open it by simply placing my hand under it. Coming inside the vehicle. This is the uh, passenger compartment, passenger cockpit up front. Again, you've got your running boards on top. Back of the right outside view mirror, nothing going on there. This is your right front wheel. Now it does have a little bit of curbing right here. But uh, not, uh, not bad overall. I don't see any damage on it. I'm going to jump inside and we'll start it up. Of course, you got your panoramic glass roof up top, which is nice. And again, with the doors here, it's pretty neat because you just push the button and it's locked. Slide your hand underneath and it's unlocked. We'll jump inside of the Mercedes. And somebody took the push button out. So I'm going to have to insert the key. It is a little bit chilly this morning here. And I'll have to verify this may or may not come 
uh, with the push button. That might be a Mercedes deal, but if it does, they can actually get those replaced at Mercedes. They're pretty easy to get and really affordable. And of course, I've got low gas. Looking at your steering wheel controls, you've got your power steering controls. Of course, you've got your uh, cruise control here, your wiper switch, your lights, your parking control panel on that side. Of course, your key entry, all of your controls up on your steering wheel, which are nice. You've got your navigation mod up top. I love these a little bit. It's actually got a CD player in it, which is very cool. You've got space for an SD card. You've got your heated seat feature there on that side. This running. Um, make sure this is on heat side because it's cold as all get out in here. Turn that all the way up. Turn the air down. So looking at the size again, this is some of the information I was telling you about on the video. This is your downhill um, feature that I was telling you about. This very, very cool. Of course, you've got all your what I call your slippery when wet controls, your off-road, snowy uh, control, sport mode. You can change those. This is your touch pad which will control everything up top and you can activate this or not. I turn mine off in my car because when I set my hand on it, <laughs> it ends up changing the radio stations. So you can actually deactivate that, which is nice. Of course, you got your overhead controls uh, for your roof, uh, which is very neat. I'm just gonna step out here. We'll go ahead and turn this off. Get that key out of there. I'm gonna just pan back so you can take a look at the panoramic roof up top which is up here, which is really cool. It's got a shade. Of course, it's got the ventilation feature coming back around. And of course, you've got your uh, rear passenger side here, which is our used car disclaimer. Somebody needs to put on the window. So this is the uh, Mercedes-Benz GLS. Let's take a quick step back. You can take a good look at it. Nice, nice vehicle. You've got the roof rails up top, which is nice. So all you have to do is get crossbars for your kayak or bicycle wrap or whatever you decide that you want to put up there a uh, beautiful beautiful vehicle definitely a good choice